Hello, YouTube. It's me, Romain Green, speaking. Before we be before we begin the Lumutu Baruch, I just wanted to give you guys a friendly reminder to remember to donate one dollar every month for twelve months to help me grow my corporation in Jamaica, help support a black-owned corporation in my native country of Jamaica. The link is down below. Thank you. Enjoy this. Have a nice day. And I do. Don't do the violence. I like peace, Rasta man. I don't steal, cheat. You see it? I man serve. It's the last thing I continually. No matter what the week I say. And I know that I and I is like a tree that plant by the river of water. And not even the dog that peace against the wall of Babylon shall escape this judgment. For I and I know that I and I know that all of you shall witness the day that Babylon shall fall. Police here. Who no bunt you, box you. Who no kick you. Them do every type of thing to us at that time. But the man who was there. And he said to them, say, Beat them. Beat them and let them say Rastafari and Babylon stand. And if I don't kill out Rasta, beat them. Beat them and let them say Rastafari and Babylon stand. And if I don't kill out Rasta, out of Jamaica, God for blind me. Tell us what the Prime Minister said. Buster Monty is the Prime Minister. He has on a cream surge pants, a striped blue shirt with white background. He has on a red, a black water boot, and the bottom of it red. He had a 22 in his side. And him said to, to the police, them, anyway you see one or two, bring them in, dead or alive. And what? 14 Barney Street cannot hold. Borg will hold them. And Borg in the cemetery. Yes, ma'am. Stepping Razor. Motor Baroka. And Razor. The art of war. We there with you on next Thursday. We will be here until 5.45. We have some information to give the people them. And commentary, we are giving our perspective of things most of the times, and then we take the cause to hear the people, them perspective. So, meanwhile, in between time, you know, we have the advertisement, them, and we have all the little different features coming on. We want to start with this music in free grants. We notice that a lot of the DJ, them, and I would call this a dub poem really in the true sense of the word and we see Sizzla make an album and have about two poem maybe we don't want to call it poem but it's poem we recognize poetry as opposed to DJ because the DJ them is poets too but it's just that them are rhyme to the music the poet them don't really care about the music them care about the contents of what they must say but now we say there is a a trust towards the the DJ them actually reciting poems and rhythms because the clarity of what they want to bring across is almost limited in the genre of what we call DJ music it's it too frivolous and sometimes you don't want the words become frivolous to the point where it just become a dancing thing. So we see there is a kind of move towards dub poetry. Not just from the dub poets, but from the DJs. We love that. Considering that I have been a dub poet for most of my life. Jinsu. Art of War, as we said, this is Thursday. And we are going to continue the program. In between the advertisement, we will be speaking. So, we could do this. Ross. Out the road. DJ Press Records. You know, I me love that tune, yeah? You know, I love that tune, yeah? Because the brethren turn the tune in a kind of irony situation. Very... Very creative, you know, the ironies because it's really irony when you hear my talk about uptown people are ball about certain things while the downtown people them are party. 
<laughs> with the tillers they don't come to that still. The tillers they don't come to that. The abs will want to be in the shoes of the have not. You ever hear that song they had? Fire burning. Or a them philosophy we I work with. The loyalty over royalty. Yeah, man. Because sometimes you feel, say, well, you know, we, we, we have a song with Ezra, and another song we say, in the kingdom of the blind, the one-eyed man is king. In the kingdom of the blind, the one-eyed man is king. Check that. Figure out what it means. But when a man say loyalty over royalty, you know, say, him gone serious in the philosophy. Okay, we see, we are, well, we hear in the news a while ago, and we have the article where a man steal two slices of cheese. <laughs> well, Jamaica, Jamaica gone. A sentenced man remains in police lockup after being arrested for stealing two slices of cheese. The man was sent back to the St. Anne B. A lockup Tuesday for sentencing in two weeks' time. He's 54-year-old Michael Stern of GLN in St. Anne B. Mr. Stern was told the court he cuts yard for a living, was arrested for stealing two slices of cheese from a shop in St. Anne's B. Sterling was offered bail at $19,000, but was further remanded after he told the, the, the presiding judge, Andrea Thomas, that he had no one to bail him. $19,000 bail. So he must stay in the lock of for two slices of cheese. What a serious time we're living in. This reminds me of the man who get three months to be deep, two dozen a care for King's House property. Wow. King's House property. The Queen place. Who oh, dare you to go there? Go talk about you want two, two dozen three. You can't allow that. Meanwhile, the first lady, the Governor General wife, Barlow say she not thinks that she wants to stay at Jamaica after one of her security guard, former security guard, a policeman was murdered. She said she not seen why she should have stayed at Jamaica. But a man was arrested, charged three months for stealing Aki. Now we hear a man now is arrested and lock up because him do have nineteen thousand dollars for pay for bail, he must have stay in the till him they have sentence. Because him thief two slices of cheese at desert there. Click it. Yes, this is the stepping race. I'm going to keep saying that because, as we say, we have to, we're talking in between the advertisement. The advertisement coming in between what we are saying, you understand? So we had a direct dilemma here. But we want to recognize that, you know, over the years we've been talking about Africa, Africa, Africa. And I say, we need to shift our focus now on the north and go to the south. So south-south dialogue and south-south investments is always good. And we have been saying this over and over and over and over. Well, we see that quite a, well, not a many, but few Jamaican business has emerged in some of the states in Africa. We feel good about that because we see that, that people realize now the potential that Africa hold in terms of investment. Because over the years, I, I've been saying, and it's my experience, that we're, tra we're traveling to Africa on flights, and more time I just me and the musician, them black, and the, 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 the airline, everybody else is white. And we are saying, but with so much white people are gone, so it's like them is tourists are investors. Looking upon them, you know, so them is not tourists. You can't, tourists have a certain profile. Business people have a certain profile. So you know, say, so well, a whole heap of them is business people. Well, we say, one Jamaican company that work out of New York, VP Records, seem to be eyeing, are expanding them presence in Africa. Knowing and recognizing that Africa, the market for reggae music, is bigger than America. But because we get so stuck in the Billboard Top 100 and the Billboard Reggae Charts, we tend not to see the potential of Africa in the old sphere or scheme of business opportunities. So we will continue to say that right now, based upon our 
heritage and our design and culture. It is time that these people recognize that Africa have a market for a lot of things that we just consider are uh, sometimes indigenous to Jamaica. Because reggae music indigenous to Jamaica, but now it has spread out. Rastafari. I, I, I am feeling that there's more Rastas in South Africa than in Jamaica. When you check Cape Town, Johannesburg and Pretoria. So Rastafari has been able to to spread all over the world and in Africa is no different, you know. So we want to say yes, any business that we say moving from here, going over there, are really making itself known over there. Cause we have albums that is only released in Africa. Yes, we have been distributed by a South African company for years from in the early 90s, still getting royalties, and I've been releasing my last album, which has never been released in the West here, is released in South Africa, and is doing quite well, I must say. But you're not going to hear about it over here because it is not on billboard. And some people feel, say, them, all them, what them call them, career, is based upon of having a tune placed on the billboard charts. The biggest selling artist them in the world is not on billboard. The people them who is touring more than most artists who have billboard tune is not on billboard. You know, billboard is just one aspect of the thing. And just like how people pay for play music by radio in Jamaica, people pay, big record companies pay, billboard and other companies to put them mo the, mo the music on the chart that it sell more. So when your when you, when you, when you song is visible on the charts, just like how uh, 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 um, uh, uh, what I'm calling a promoter in Europe, tell me personally, say, anytime I want to find out about artists and them thing there, for go up and thing, is IRFM him listen to. Him listen to IRFM and him know what is what and what is not. And then him go from there. So we know the power of the music and the power of the media. But sometimes people is so focused on America. That is why the rhythm of the music by these young people nowadays is shifting to the, the American style of music. If you listen to most of the music that is coming out right now in Jamaica, it is not dancehall music. It's not dancehall music. And it is not reggae, most of it. It's mostly what we call hip-hop style. So everybody is trying to sound like an American version of a version. We are trying to copy America when America was copying us. So it is reversed now that we are trying to copy America because we feel say in doing that we will get a little foothold into the American market. A lot of people who do what we call um, link with American artists, you know, them have the remix. So you have Jamaican artists now say, Boy, them have a collab. <laughs> the people call it collab. It's supposed to sound great and fantastic. But I am yet to see a collaboration of any Jamaican artist going platinum or going gold. The only the, the Jamaican artist collaboration, in, in other words, the Jamaican music, and then you have a collaboration with a foreign artist. But I am yet to see a foreign artist drawing for a Jamaican musician and we see it fly up on the billboard number one chart. Really. One of the biggest selling dancehall album is by Sean Paul, which have no collaboration on it. No collaboration whatsoever on it. And it sell over five million. From that album until now, we have seen no Jamaican artists in all their collaboration and Hip hop, hip hop, hip hop, hip hop has been able to sell even a hundred thousand music song CD. We don't find that strange that in all the hip hop music and all the hype and hype, nobody else come with an album where outshine Sean Paul album, which is a hardcore dancehall music, a uptown like a yacht, as he will tell you, 
Uptown Youth, make an album, pure dancehall, and it sell over five million. And all the hype you know, can't go a hundred thousand. And when you look at the foreign white reggae band them, the white reggae band them has outsell any Jamaican artist. There is no Jamaican artist that is selling music like those white ground nation or what I'm calling Christopher a like a gospel white group where all of them locks. It's amazing. The whole of them locks in the band. Them say them are Christian. Them call themselves Christ of Fire. Them is selling more CDs than any call out the name of the artist where you feel popular in Jamaica. None of them are sell the amount of music where these little white youth are sell. So we have to really get with it and know say, yeah, we have to shift with focus. Africa. And that we are saying. Okay, so we <laughs> We catch a little piece. We, we, we catch a little piece of the talk. Can we leave you be? Um, so we really feel good for no and to say VP is not going to expose Jamaican music. Because you know VP I lose money. VP I lose money in, a, in America. Yes, because a lot of the money that they put out for certain artists, them feel so they that it sell volumes. But really and truly, when you look at the volume, Volume nowadays in America is like a 2000 album. <laughs> it, it's still away though. It's still away. Because if Jamaican artists are make albums, you know, he can't depend on how much he depends on how much tour he get. And that's what they know, you know. Him, it have to depend on how much tour he got do, not how much music he sell, because the music gone to the foreign artists, them. The reggae music gone to the foreign artists, them now. And the hype in a Jamaica cannot sustain the artist. So the artist have to make sure, say, him get for go up on the road, go tour enough for earn some money for buy him Range Rover and live in a hotel with them no leap of girls, them will have them fingernail, well wired, change every day. <laughs> and if him not change it, them left him. <laughs> you understand? So all these things is necessary. And the music, the music, is very important. So Africa, we're saying it as Rasta, we're saying it as artists, we're saying it as a radio announcer. You see, Africa, we have to come out of the mythology about Africa now and the madness where people put and stay in Africa with. Because Africa is a real place. As real as you take a plane and go to Florida, even though the flight might be longer. But Africa is a real place. 53 different countries. Africa is not a country. Africa is a continent. And we have to recognize that. We have to recognize, say, uh, anytime you hear Rasta talk about Africa, take it out of the pie in the sky, madness, bang belly picnic flying a mouth and all them something there. Africa is a continent with many, many countries. Click it. Akala. Miss Harris. Maria Harris, a caller named Maria Harris, would like to donate $2,000 towards the man Biel who stole the two slices of cheese. A caller just call us and say, she, her name is Maria Harris, she would like to donate $2,000 towards the man Biel who stole the two slices of cheese. No. We all know that a man must not thieve. Thou shall not steal. But, and we don't like hear the word but, but in this case we're going to say but. Two slices of cheese. The people them own thief the two slices of cheese from. A man don't, a man don't, stupid, for going to a supermarket or a shop and go thief two slices of cheese, he never walk out with a basket of goods. He never walk out with a tin of cheese. He never walk out with two chicken and him arm. A two slices of cheese. That means that the man was desperately in need of the two slices of cheese. He never wanted to need the two slices of cheese. Now, you see, if me did have a place and a man come in and thief two slices of cheese, me nah lock him up. Me have a reprimand him. I said, Bridget, you know, you come in and me saw that thief, Rasta. But you see, don't the, the, the thing where him thief, just where him thief, me have a say, well, that look terrible still, you know. It look terrible. Hmm. 
But Virgin, may I tell you, a drum you can with there, a drum you can with there right now. Anything is possible. Nineteen thousand dollar for bail. Or it have to stay until them charge you and, and give you, convict you. So this lady, in responding to what we just mentioned, is starting a kitty here with $2,000 towards a man bill who stole the two slices of cheese. Wow. This is the stepping razor. This is what you call the art of war. You see, when we talk about art of war, it's them things that we talk about. You know, people believe, say, why I'm not aware call the program art of war. You could have called it art of peace. <laughs> Where's the truth? We don't have no peace. And the whole light we want. We don't want no peace. We want the whole light. <laughs> and I'm not talking about peace, 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 peace. You hear Peter Tat say, you'd like to know that a man asks your daughter for a little peace. <laughs> you understand? Because peace is where people, re where them dead, them say, may his soul rest in peace. So when I work with the peace, we are work with all of it. And when we say war, in the introduction you will hear it tell you the greatest way to win a war is not to fire any bullet. And if you can overpower a man by not causing any physical fight, that is the art of war. So you have to have a psychological maneuvering taking place to really cool down a man. If you see two men on the road, I go start fight, and you go in between them and say certain things, and the two men them say, Cho, Muta, you see, if I wasn't you, because so many times that happened to me, that we depend on the road, and a man say, Oh, I'm going to tap in your face, you know? and when I rush my arm, I'm going to say, Bridgerton, who not deal with? Who not go, you go to prison, you know? If you stop the man, you go to prison, and them, so like, you start to talk to them, and they say, Boy, I'm going to tell the truth, you know? You see, if I wasn't you, I'm going to tap the boy in my face, you know, and them kind of way there. And it was eased down. That is what we call when we say the art of war. It's not a violent situation, it's to prevent violence. It's the art of knowing that you are in a war situation, but how you overcome that situation is the important part of it. And there's a certain art that defines this situation. There's a certain art. So we don't really have to apologize to no one about why the program name Art of War, even though we need to explain it, because some people have not been able to grasp this understanding. There is a book named The Art of War by Sun Tzu, S-U-T-Z-U. I would recommend that book, or uh, even the documentary. There is documentary. You can go on the internet and find audio book. The audio book, The Art of War. Very interesting thing to study and recognize that what we are saying here is something that beyond where you usually hear on radio. Because we don't know about the art of war already. So we figure it out and we say, yes, the art of war. So that sickle that. Okay. So now, you have this lady I know named Shanique Myrie. Everybody's supposed to know who named Shanique Myrie. She has become an a icon in the fight against what we call injustice that is perpetuated by foreign countries and Jamaican people. And she won her case in Barbados. Very long time now. Long, long time now. Well, we are told that them say she go and get her money this weekend, yeah. Um, we are trying to get her on the phone. We hope we can get her before I don't talk about this thing, yeah. Anyway, my concern is this. You know, so my concern is always different from everybody's concern. My concern is with A.J. Nicholson, the Minister of Foreign Affairs. The Minister of Foreign Affairs last year, November... Say, when the people them start to say, oh, them now pay the woman our money, them to pay the woman our money, and the, the minister of foreign aid comes and say, in situations like these, the length of time that it is taking the Barbados government is not a very long time. 
That is what I'm saying now. This is like after the case gone months now and nobody now here say the woman has said this and that, that the woman has said, well, it's not really the money, you know, it's this and this and that. Before she start telling people that's the money, but I love the money if you go buy certain things. Finger nail here, do an hair style and new shoes and toenail manicure and pedicure and all these things. She did their talk about, well, you know, it's not really the money, you know, it's the situation. You know, I'm going to last him, last him things them here now. I'm going to last him wallet here now. Can the person who find the wallet, you can keep the money, but bring back the, 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 the paper. I'm mad, you're mad. Bring back my money, come give me. What are you talking about? <laughs> but, 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 but keep the money. I know your money. Bring back the money. Anyway. A.J. Nicholson came out and said that these situations and what is transpiring with the Barbadian government is not a real, very long time. So we hold our breath now and we say, okay, that is last year. I'm saying that, you know. This year, up to now, where the woman don't get the money, we hear the same A.J. Nicholson come out and say, well, you know, it is not the prerogative of the Jamaican government to collect that money. It is between she, the lie, our lawyer, and the government of Barbados. No, that is a cop out. That is a cop out because he's the Minister of Foreign Affairs and he's supposed to say that this cause is a just cause and seem like how they got involved with it when. She ball out that them send our lawyers over there to deal with it from a government to government level. Why is it that because the woman never get her money after such a period of long time, this man is about balling with it from a government to government level? Why is it that because the woman never get her money after such a period of long time, this man is about balling out say the government is not responsible for that? Is our lawyer must whatsoever do that and do that and do that? So can we now say that we are on our own? We are on our own in these foreign things, in these foreign affairs, this and the foreign affairs that, because if a minister can come out and tell we that the government now have nothing to do with it. So I don't know why I couldn't want to blame the government because she never get her money. The government is supposed to stand up for the citizen. And if there's an unjust thing that is taking place, and they did take part in this thing, why is it that at the last moment now they're trying to cap out? So we are told that this lady is supposed to get her money this weekend. Yeah. This weekend. So we will now watch and see what will take place or what will transpire over the coming week. We see what might happen. Or will we see AJ Nicholson coming out and saying something? Say, I want to tell you, say, who not give the woman the money this weekend? And at three weeks gone, no, 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 get the money yet. We will watch and see. So we hope that they will stand to their word, according to the reports, that the Barbied, the Barbados government say she will get her money this week. We, you know, them in a problem. Them in a money problem too, you know. Yeah, them in a, Barbados in a big money problem. Yes, them economy is not doing too well, even though we hear that Barbados is seen as a first world country. Yes. Barbados was recognized as a not a emerging, a first world country really. But now we see that they have been dropping down backwards in their quest for status as a first world country because of their monetary inefficiency like every other government that is coming out of colonialism and slavery. We try to do the things that has not been able to raise the people them out of the, the gutter that colonialism and slavery put us in. So the rich is getting richer and the poor is dying. The poor is dying and the rich is getting richer. It just amazes I that when I take up the green and look in at the business area, I see how much company I make more profit than they didn't make last year and the year before they make more profit than the year before. Oh gosh, man, why the crime rate can't go down like all the money I make profit? It amazes I. This is a company you make how much billion dollar profit. 
this year, in the first quarter, second quarter, and all them things, they may say, wow, Jamaica have money, we look on the road, the other day with their Caribbean Fashion Week, we see them unveil a car, Audi, and you know, say, really and truly, ATL, big, when it come on to that, then we know we hear to them, I say, they might give a $50,000 for each goal, where, um, where Germany score, and they never know that Germany they score four goal. <laughs> so, them get a beaten, cause them get odd, them get, um, orders for the car, because of what they say. Now they say they're going to lose one point something million dollars, which is more, it's, it's foolishness. One point three million dollar. ATL is not losing money because them, because of four goal they score. And they have to give you one. One five million dollar is what you'd use as advertisement money. So you put that in the kitty for advertisement, as we call it now. Um, when you say call it, when you put the money there one side, uh, yeah, you, you put that money there one side, and I say, all right, you're going to spend that amount of money on advertisement. Therefore, one point three million dollar must be a part of that adver advertisement money. So. No, don't come tell me nothing about when I go, when you never expect to pay so much because so much gold score. <laughs> you understand? Them people are easy, you know. But really and truly, though, you are surprised that to find out that people actually buying these cars. And when you look on the road, you see cars that you only see in Los Angeles when you're driving in Hollywood. That's why when white people come out here for give you aid, I'm a part of one of those little. One of the directors to one of these places that we say we're always writing letters to them forget aid from here and aid from here. The people them say why why them can't give you the aid like where we are asking you know, because when them come out here and see the type of house and the type of car where Jamaican people are drive. Jamaican is a poor country. Because when you go down all in a certain ghetto area, you see some escalade park up. And you see some BMW X6, X5 park up that you say, but weird. No zinc fence that. Oh, the man, no, she said the zinc fence should come down. But him live behind a S. Hey, I want a weird thing, you know. It's a weird thing for God to get the garage there with that X6 park up, a zinc fence. Only for you to the man who have the X6, I him own the yard with the zinc fence, you know. With a 100 million people living there. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, it's like, everybody are looking under everybody hole. Whether them are uh, under the, 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 the rat hole, the dog hole, are just hole. They just are looking under everything. You can't, you can't have no privacy in them yard there, though. No, you, you can't have no privacy in them yard because the way the wall them stay, you know. If a man have sex in a fame room, you know, you can't sleep, you know. You better go start have sex too. Because no, whether you like it or not, you have to go find something to make you feel good. Usually it's your hand. People, people use their hand to make them feel good. But when you listen to the man next door, you, you better don't lick on the wall and say, Oh boy, what are you doing, do, man, over there? Well, you know, the man wants to sleep. Man wants to sleep. You have gunshot fire right through the wall and lick it on your face. <laughs> Who had gunshot? Can I remember the man of the escalator? He have him going for much too, you know. And him come inside of the yard for, for check for him girlfriend. And him have sex with him girl in there. You are telling about quiet, quiet. You better move out of the house. <laughs> you better move out of the house. So the way the thing set here so now, Bobby does, AJ Nicholson, Miss Myrie, the thing have to work out. You must get your money. You must get your money. But it's all about fan dangles and fan dangles. I don't make how we live, you know. I don't make how we live. You have to just keep saying that. You have to expect the unexpected. Expect the unexpected in Jamaica. Because what you know is a weird thing. Maybe the program, maybe the last program I cut the tip with ever here, you know. Because when you talk about gear, everybody wants. No, 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 no. It's this sort of, it's this sort of gear them have, you know, you know. The gear them have you where, just say, you know, let me ask, me ask somebody to call the program and tell me what is the meaning of homophobic. Is homophobic in Jamaica means, say, you must say, you must even say the word gear, because if you start saying the word gear now, you are deemed homophobic. Because I know, say, homophobic mean 
the fear, fear of homosexuals. I don't know no Jamaican afraid of homosexuals. I don't know no Jamaican we're afraid of homosexual. You understand? We don't run from them. As a matter of fact, more Jamaican will run to them. You understand? But where the problem is now is that we see a thing that develop in a Jamaica that if you express your heterosexual preference like what Queen Africa did, she is ostracized. Because we're living in a society now that say, no, no, we're not in that, you know. I don't want to say nothing about no gear, nothing, you know. Nothing at all. Don't ever say gear, say happy. And we can't say happy again, because first time we used to say everybody's gay. Acting like a child, you know, Dennis Brown sing a tune, acting like a child so young and gay. If Dennis Brown was alive, you know, and him sing that man a pure stone. Or uh, when you hear the gay lads, the gay lads turn them turn them group into Psalms. Cause you can't go and live. Ladies and gentlemen, the gay lads. When you run out past you have to run off. <laughs> yeah, that's all. <laughs> There's a terrible thing. But even now, put for that joke aside, believe you mean. This gay flag people, this gay flag people then. Who the hell is these people? Are we living in a Jamaican society where one group of people, given the power that they have internationally now, is now going to make all Jamaican people succumb to something that deep within the psyche of Jamaican people, most Jamaican people don't agree with? If you don't agree with something, it don't mean say you're going to do some evil things against something and i am saying it again jamaica is not homophobic because every little group i every i want to know one somebody in a jamaica that don't know a homosexual if you don't know a homosexual you have to check yourself brian if you don't know a homosexual you have to check yourself because i don't know no jamaican that don't know a homosexual or a lesbian and I don't hear no mass murder going on. Every company, every company have a gay person inside of the company. And I don't see nobody at two stone at them when they go for them lunch. You know, see it? So I don't understand this argument about Jamaica is a homophobic country. This is a thing that has been perpetuated by Jamaican gay rights people because them cannot get them own way. And them tell you, say, when a homosexual dead, get killed is a homophobic killing is lie it's lie most homo most homosexuals who dead in jamaica is them own lover kill them and the statistics can show you that most homosexuals who die in jamaica is them own lover and trust me you see when a homosexual get jealous you want you want to go up at the University of the West Indies. Go see when lesbian get jealous of lesbian with them do. A time for advertisement. Yeah. We'll come back to the subject. We're not coming and fight. Yeah. We're not coming and fight. Click it. Oh. Step in razor. You know, we we, we, we just that talk about Shanique Mary a while ago and we didn't really want to get her up on the phone and we start to go in our next subject. But you wanna know, we'll come back to that subject there, you know. We're not coming and fight, you know. We're not coming and fight based upon a certain development. I would have called it underdevelopment, where we see it take place. Kind of development, underdevelopment, where we see it take place in Jamaica as it relates to this gay thing. So we have the sister from the line, Shanique. Shanique Myrie, good afternoon. Good afternoon, sir. Well, you have become, a, you have become a, a, a symbol of defiance in Jamaica, ma'am. <laughs> <laughs> So I've been told. <laughs> yeah, you have become a symbol of defiance in Jamaica. And how long now this thing has gone on? Remind me. Um, I think it's about three years now. It's from 2011. Since the court? Huh? Since the court, since the court said. The judgment? Yeah, since the judgment. How long? It's from October 4th. It's about eight months now. Eight months? Mm -hmm. And it's, it's when they. All right. They, 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 they say you must get a certain portion of money yeah. from October. 
Mm-hmm. All right, I remember, hey, I was just talking about E.J. Nichols, who say the length of time, at the time when him said, him saying that the length of time wasn't ridiculous because these mm-hmm. things take a while. You remember him saying that? Yes, I did. All right, now this year in combat, now him say, the government has nothing to do with this thing now. It is up to you and your lawyer. Mm-hmm. You, you remember him saying that? Yeah. What, what, what do you think about that? Because at first they was totally with you. Mm-hmm. And then him saying, right, why the money now comes? So we have to figure out another way to say it. And then him started. Because personally, I see it as a couple. Oh, you see it. Well, I'm not very disappointed in the minister's speech because um, everybody don't know that Jamaica was no longer intervening in the case. And, mm. But at the end of the day, they are friends and I still think the government needs to push it the same way. So, and yeah. I'm a lawyer because she alone cannot do it. Yes, she yeah. needs the government behind her as well. Mm-hmm. All right, so who, who really had the message to you that they're going to give you the money this week? Um, I heard it from the Attorney General in Barbados. He made a speech. I think it was a press conference. So they never they, 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 money this week. Oh, it's a press All right, so they never contact you or your lawyer personally and say this? No, actually, I, I, I read it in the paper. I don't know if they contact her as yet. I don't oh, see her. From, you don't talk to your lawyer as yet? So you don't no. know exactly how that got in? You just hear that? No, uh, well, we're, ex- um, we're expecting it this week because he said so, and, and um, we don't get anything as yet, but okay. the week is not finished. Yeah, it? well, tomorrow is a week finished. Saturday is <laughs> yeah, yeah. finished. All right. So, we usually, uh, you know, it's kind of weird because you, as I say, have been a, a symbol to most Jamaicans who go there. And since your time, we have been hearing of so many cases, but it never come out like your own. Um, mm-hmm. Your case, you think your case is a unique case, or this, you think say, it's something where I'm to Jamaicans all the while are going to these countries? Um, I guess I understand that it's something that happened. It's been happening for a long time now, and I'm the first person who took it to the media like that and took it to the world like that. So where did that, so, um, that drive there? I mean, where did that drive there? Because most women that say, uh, where, where did that drive there for pursue the matter to the level where they pursue it? Tell me. Um, I was very hurt, and um, at the end of the day, it was very embarrassing for me to go out there like that. But at the end of the day, I know Bobby that was wrong, and I wanted to prove to them that I could stand up for my rights, and I know my rights. Yeah, yeah. Which where you come from? Yeah. Oh, more, but I grew up in Olympic way. Okay, okay. And and when you, when you go to the lawyer, or, or, or the lawyer deal with it, the lawyer say, um, it's, it's the first lawyer you go to accept the case, or you didn't have to go to many lawyers? Yeah, um, it was Hilton and Brown Law Firm. Mm. And um, she, I think this was her first case that she dealt with in this manner mm-hmm. and she was very upset um, when I was telling her what happened mm-hmm. so she immediately took the case because she knew there were some breaches and, and um, disrespect mm-hmm. um, there so she and, I, and I'm very proud of her work yeah. she's done well and she worked hard on it all right, this was this was in the last year um, oh, yeah, oh, exp- uh, well, last year the case come to end but it was mm-hmm. taking place before Mm-hmm. Remind the people them were really where you did I go there for because we know them all that about Jamaican women that come to contact with them man and all them something. Rem, rem, mm-hmm. Remind the people them what was it that happened that lead to this? Um, the, 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 the man, the man at the airport say he suspect me because I was looking around in the airport and, and stuff like that. Mm-hmm. And I mean, yes, and they pulled me out of the line and stuff like that because. A lady was supposed to come and receive me, but the lady back was hurting her, so she sent a man. And because a man was out there, they were saying that I'm going to live with the man and don't come back. Oh, to woman you know, so you are the first one you say about the man thing. Yes, yeah, so they have a problem with that woman yeah. coming to the country and a man receiving them, and that is crap. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Now, they suppose me go, go over there and a man receive me. Is a problem, me not too. Ah, uh, that was. <laughs> <laughs> give, give me what is happening, you know the way they, All right, so did she say a man I receive you and what, what mm-hmm. I mean now? They suspect, and she took me out of the line and she bring me upstairs and they started questioning because she asked me if I was related to Bujubanta because my last name is Mary and I said no. Oh yeah. Yes, she did. And I said, no. She said, uh, if he said you suspect me carrying drugs. And I said, how can you suspect me carrying drugs? In what way do you suspect me carrying drugs? So they started to question me and dig me up and do all kind of stuff. Mm. You know, when I hear them talk about cavity search, I thought it was your teeth, something wrong with your teeth, you know. 
Huh? When I hear them say they, they had a cavity surge, I thought there's something wrong with your teeth. <laughs> <laughs> That's weird. Oh, what could I eat after I eat something? If I search, I have a No, but all right. So, I, no, what do you do? They, they put you in a room and lock you up? Or, 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 or yes, they brought me upstairs in, in the office. Mm. And they started to question me and threaten me and bust up my slippers and dig out my suitcase, bottom and bust the suitcase. And do all kind of things. Then a lady bring me in the bathroom and she strip my clothes and... Yeah. You know. Oh, so like Germany in in, in war times, man. All right. Yeah. So so all them know say it, who, whosoever did find out say in there. All them know say it in there. The person in who here. come for you. All, all them know say. Ah, yeah, you're in there for a long while. Yeah, yeah. Couple yeah. Hours. All them know say. All the person know for contact you now for say. This is what happened. Is you make a phone call or? No, okay. I didn't. I didn't get a phone call. And that was part of the um. That was part of what upset the judges because I was I was supposed to get a phone call and they didn't give me any phone call. Mm -hmm. It was when I reached to Jamaica the next morning. I started to cry and you know yeah. I, I explained to the lady at the airport what happened. Oh, so them deport you? Them deport you? Yes, the next morning they sent me home without a reason. Yeah. So you so you tell you start to tell people you now and one thing lead to the next. Mm -hmm. All right. Well, I, I hope you you get your money that you can. Buy a nice suit and clothes and get for go back. <laughs> I'm not going back to buy me. Really. Yeah, to buy me <laughs> no. So you yeah, say the man all oh, the man who did come for you now, him now go see you again. I don't know him. Oh, you don't know him? No, it was a lady friend. I don't know him. Oh, the lady friend sent the man for she you. Sent, she sent somebody for me, but she couldn't get to town because I was already flying. Okay, okay, okay. Yeah, okay. I don't know him. All right, well, as we say, Tell me if you get your money tomorrow, you know, because if you don't get your money tomorrow, me and you, Jenny, because I'll have a serious problem. No, no, no. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'll, be, I'll definitely put it out there. Well, that I'm going to jump back in night. No, I watch out. I'm going to jump back in night. If you don't get your money this week, them, the government... I don't, think the, I don't think the government um, wants to do, have anything to do with this case. I, I, I'm, I'm not sure why either. Well, Am I not a Jamaican? Am I, I didn't do anything for the country. At that, may I say, at that, may I say, it's a high profile. That's what I've been asking the government. Yeah, well, just tell me personally. If them don't give you money this week, call me back and tell me. Of course, I'll yeah. be out there again saying that I didn't receive yeah. anything. See, yeah. All right, Mama, give thanks. Yeah? All right, then. Yes. Mm. Shanique Myrie, this is the sister who's supposed to get her money. And up to now, she's not getting it from last year. And it's a go on for how long she said the case has gone on. Couple years well, the case are gone, and she just this, them just decide say the more get our money. Click it. Get a world of football updates on your favorite team in the greatest football events. Text the name of your team. To so with the panic subject, yeah, where it appears to me now that we get muzzled because it's so sensitive. When well, me not see it as sensitive, you know, me see it as something where it's very concerning in a Jamaica, you know, and the way other thing are going now. There's, a, there's, there, there's going to be greater animosity against this group of people in Jamaica because of, the, of how they're going about trying to get them rights. They are trying to get them rights, and everybody has to have rights. But how they go about it, it is creating animosity in the hearts and the minds of Jamaican people. So... You know, when I a youth, you know, when I a youth, I come up as a school youth. In a most community, in the ghetto, a little gay guy live there and nobody no trouble him. Me remember all the artists where you used to, where, where name Samuel, at Samuel, him name Samuel, as, I don't want to call him wrong name, Samuel Watson or something like that. He used to draw fashion things in the newspaper, in, 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 in the newspaper. Everybody knows Samuel as, 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 as a gay guy. And nobody no trouble him. Everybody know a gay guy in Jamaica. Me I tell you, say, me there are some place where me see all four or five gay guys just walk in and just a flash all them things and it's like them where everybody see them and everybody really see them but nobody now notice them. Nobody trouble them. When them go outside, no guy wait outside for stone them. Them just go and go do what them do. At any given night, down uh, North South Boulevard, Rutven Road, Braemar Avenue. You see some guys over there. 
uh, uh, run against the, 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 the prostitute them, the, 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 the female prostitute them. That like the female prostitute them is, I must tell you, you know, on the gay guys out there, I must tell you know, this, that the female prostitute is very concerned that you're not know, taking away them work. So all them to so get, take action and vex. Any given night, you will see a portion of gay guys from Nutsut Boulevard come right up to Trafalgar, Trafalgar Road. So nobody trouble these guys. One called to me the other night, Mota, you can't buy me a bowl of soap. <laughs> this is after me I come from a place where me never see so much prostitute in my life, female prostitute. You have certain places in a Kingston where, if, you know, like if you want honey, you drive, go like me a pen, you know, so you have a place where everybody sell honey there, so. If you, if you want Neesbury, you have a place where you drive, go St. Thomas, up here in Neesbury. If you want Karim, you go a Barbican, right at Lost Ocean there. You know, say, any Karim where you want, you can't go there, so. So, you have places in a Jamaica where you can't go and have a specific item. Now, there are the idea one place and me I tell you me, me never know say someone prostitute there Jamaica. And first from me born in a Jamaica, me never see so much female prostitute at one place. I was surprised. But then now, what shocked me more is when me drive go up the road, turn on the boulevard, I reach up at the corner, you know. Me Raman Mota, you can't buy me a soap. <laughs> I say, I say, Buy your soup. There was a later night that I'm a man to up there sell soup, you know. A man having pot there in a little thing, you know, the little thing where they carry in a supermarket. Mm, trolley. A little trolley, you know, tell my teeth to trolley them. So, man just use that now for sell soup in night and thing. At the soup, I'm going to buy from man, but I'm going to call me now. I say, I say, I ball out to him, I say, Bridging, see how holy by your Bridging them there. Make them buy the soup for you. All right. When you look over this, you know. Appear guys, you see over there. You know? Me not see nobody have trouble them in you know, the rasta. Everybody go their own business and nobody not have trouble nobody. You understand? All right. Them say Jamaica homophobic. It's one of the most homophobic countries in the world. And I contend and I have done interviews with Canadian broadcasting service where they interview and I tell me and I say, but watch you know. There's no evidence in Jamaica to say that most homosexuals who die in Jamaica is caused by people who is homophobic. On the contrary, most, homopho most homosexuals who die in Jamaica was killed by, an, by a, a, a lover, them lover, who them treat bad. And I can tell you of incidents where guys, and I, I, I tell people this, you know, and nobody go like that, where Muta get them things from, but it's true, nothing but the truth. You have these guys, big man. First of all, you have you have girls who you, you lesbians who in certain position, them have them Mercedes Benz and Payero and this and that. Them go drive go to a certain school. I shall not call the name of the schools, but it's not ghetto school. They drive go to these schools. When they know the class is over, them pick up the girls them. And carry them go to them house. And these girls have all the latest this. I pad I what I lad I tad and all these things with them have. And them have all the this and the this and the that. And they are treated quite well by their lover. So now what we find is that most high school girls, and I'm going to say most, I'm going to say most, because of the the, the, the television that they're watching, the American television that they're watching, that is giving credence to this lifestyle. And because of them know a friend who's treated quite well by them lesbian lover, them not say nothing wrong with it. So nobody is, 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 is treating them friend like because he's a lesbian, I don't want to talk to you. Nobody's doing that in them school. I don't have no little girl who knew a lesbian where she, because she's a lesbian, they don't talk to her. And when you go to the university, and this is the only one I'm going to call, the University of the West Indies, you wouldn't believe that them have a lesbian night in the university. Up at the university, them have lesbian nights. Nobody is attacking these lesbian nights. 
And I'm not, if you don't believe me, go up to the universe to go find out that. Me, I tell you this. Say them have nights in universe they call lesbian nights. And me personally say, a lover, a lesbian daughter, attacking the next lesbian daughter. You know, say, you know, it, 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 it boggles my mind. Why a man would I want to sleep with a man who dressed like a woman? Uh, why a woman would want to sleep with a woman who dressed like a man? I mean, you know, just call me. Just call me and everything nice. Me is a real deal. <laughs> yeah, that's a, a real deal. You don't need to get a man, a woman who dressed like a man. I am always looking like a man. Call me, my phone number, I'll give you my phone number every time you want. Anyway, <laughs> in the University of the West Indies, they have a lot of homosexuality in the University of the West Indies. No guy can make me lose my job because I say that. I mean, I have no job for lose because I mean, I beg nobody nothing. None of them not put no food on my table. In the University of the West Indies, there is a large amount of homosexual, homosexual that is in the school. Them fight all the while. And them not hide the fighting. And I don't see nobody arrange them because when they are doing them antics, nobody not go in at it and say, well, and well, and well, and I tried this and I tried that. Them just love them. And nobody will keep malice with a girl or a boy because them know so that girl or boy is gay. Nobody does that. Homophobia means the fear of homosexuals. Them say Jamaican people are homophobic because we kill homosexuals. It's lie them telling. It's lie them telling. And I'm going to show you something. This is an article that came out. July the 8th. Because we are lead up to something, you know. It's something we are lead up to, for saying, you know. We are lead up to something because something is happening right now. Two days ago, a 16-year-old youth was raped. Raped. This is after we hear about a man we get raped by, a, by two men at gunpoint, you know. Two days ago, a little youth get raped. It's a male youth get raped by a male. All right. In June, in July 2012, there was a man, the assistant commissioner of police, Les Green. This is the same Les Green we tell we say, black people take orders better from white people. This is a white British man that said that. Say so black people take orders from white people better than all them take orders from them own kind. All right. The assistant commissioner of police, Les Green, who left the island at the end of his eight years of service, he rubbished a common claim by the gay community and international rights groups that homosexuals in Jamaica are victims of wanton murder, mob mauling, and marginalization. Its pronouncement came just weeks after gay lobby group, Jamaica Forum for Lesbians, All Sexuals and Gays, suggested that two men killed in New Kingston era were slain because of their sexual preference. In an interview on Thursday with the Sunday Observer, Green said, Despite claims by J Flag that Jamaicans are intolerant of their lifestyle and are targeting them for death, his experience during his tenure here was totally different. Flag has for years contended that gay people have been marginalized in Jamaica, but Green said that while that may have been the case in the past, the country has come a long way in tolerating the homosexual lifestyle. Quote, I think Jamaica is far more tolerant than the public hype. There is a vibrant community in Jamaica, and there ain't a sort of backlash that some people say. I think we are much more tolerant and accepting. Just go around and you will see they are more flamboyant in the way they dress and behave as if they are comfortable with it. If that's the case, why are they stigmatized, Green said. It's just the hype from some who claim Jamaica is very anti-homosexual. But the reality is far from that. There are many homosexuals who live and work freely in Jamaica. I know that. I know that. And everybody in Jamaica know that. Green explained that as a homicide investigator, he worked closely with the gay lobby group, which referred him to several incidents in which members of their community were murdered. However, 
The former Scotland Yard detective said its findings show that the majority of gay killings are carried out by members of the gay community. This is a big policeman, a white man from England, former Scotland Yard, who there for years as assistant commissioner. Him say, his findings show that the majority of gay killings are carried out by members of the gay community. Quote, all of those murders that I have investigated have been in relationship and are victims of gay attacks, domestic situations, he said. Quote, all of those murders that I have investigated have been in relationships and are victims of gay attacks, domestic situations, he said. No. I say, I am not saying that you, have, you do have people in Jamaica, ignorant people, who just at the mere idea of a gay guy get violent. But to say that Jamaica is a homophobic society and that most of the killings them that, 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 that take place where homosexuals are dead is, is homophobic, is not true. We have to get that in our head. It's not true. On July 13, the body mutilated bodies of Winston Ramsey and Jeremy and Thompson was found in an open lot on Trafalgar Road. Since the gruesome find, homicide investigators have reported that the killings had all the signs of a gay and gay crime. You know what, you know what policemen tell me? And not only policemen in Jamaica, but also when we look at these detective stories in Jamaica, it shows that when a police go to a crime scene and him look and how the crime was committed, he can't tell you if it's a crime of passion. Just the way the crime is committed, he can say, this is a crime of passion. No, it has been shown that homosexual men, when them kill them lover, it worse than when a, homis, a, a, a heterosexual woman kill her man. Because if the homosexual... If the, if the heterosexual woman stab her man two times, because you're jealous. The homosexual man stab, her, stab him man 15 times. Terrible ways. Since the gruesome find, homicide investigators have reported that the killing of, had all the signs of gay and gay crime. However, days after the killing, J. Flag in a release to the media used the murders as a launching pad to call on Prime Minister Portia Simpson Miller to look into the plight of homeless gay men. Quote, among the most recent attacks against the gay community was the savage killing of two young men. The men were apparently brutally murdered with blunt instruments in the vicinity of the intersection of Trafalgar Road and Lady Musgrave Road. People who are homeless frequent this area. Among them are young gay men who have been made homeless because of the continued intolerance of homosexuality in Jamaica. We call on the Prime Minister and the Minister of National Security and Labour and Social Security to listen to the cries and needs of members of our community who continue to be subjected to discrimination and violence. Have nowhere to live and no food to eat because of their sexual orientation or gender identity. The J flag release read in part. That is a governmental business. The government must take care of its, 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 its citizens no matter what. However, Green flatly rejected that line of reasoning and said, of all the murders of gay men that he has investigated, only one was not committed by a member of the gay community. That was Steve Harvey, and that case was a robbery, Green said. All right, I could don't read this now. Because a man was raped last week. We don't hear gay flag come out and say nothing. A man was raped last week. We still want to hear what gay flag have to say about this man who was raped. And in the, in the crisis of that, we are now hearing of a little youth who get raped. And this has been going on over and over. And when we hear of a youth get raped by a man, we don't say gay flag say nothing. But we say the Jamaica, what them call themselves again? Jamaica, for justice, the Jamaica for justice people, which is a continuation of what we are saying here, the Jamaica for justice has taken it up on them head to go to places where they keep young people. And we must remember that a couple of years ago, there was a, a, a school book that came out 
This thing is deep, you know, Rasta. It's deep, you know. It's deep. Jamaica, it, 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 it deep. Years ago, a school book was in the schools trying to instill the so-called alternative lifestyle to our young children. And it was found out by the Minister of Education and then withdraw the book. The problem is that I have, I have, I have, I, I, I one time they put a book in the school, them both Rasta, and in a, in a, a picture in a, the book is a, is, is a picture of a man looking like a Rasta, grab a woman bag, and them all and them say Rasta stealing handbag. And I have to go to the, 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 the Minister of Education at the time and say, look here, this cannot be tolerated. This cannot be tolerated in Jamaica. Given what Rastafari has contributed to the Jamaican society, how the hell can you have a book where I teach the children them about Rastafari and have a picture of it, have a Rasta grab a bag? She never knows that a book they did in the school. She never knows that a book they did in the school. It's the same thing with the book now where I show the, the youth them the lifestyle. The minister never knows the book in the school and then they withdraw the book. No, the question is. Jamaica for justice, who have an agenda about gay rights, which nobody's fighting against gay rights. Everybody must have them right. I am thinking that one of the things them that is causing this upsurge of gay this and gay that and gay that is because of Portia Simpson pronouncement that she will review the Bogre law. And after two years, these gay guys is not seeing anything happening. And them is getting very upset. So they are they are expanding their drive now to force the Prime Minister on to say, look yeah, you did done till you say you're gonna do that over there. So you know so all community has so nothing about it. And now we see there is a, a organization that is calling not to reinstate the, the, the university lecturer, and also now is going door to door like them is politician, having sex education, explicit sex education. This is a human rights lobby executive. Carlin Gomes has been has resigned as a member of the board. And now they are forced to now give an apology. Them apologizing. Them apologizing for sex education course. This is this is this is this is not acceptable. Not, not, not that them should not apologize, you know, but we find that people in this higher level of Jamaican society, them do something terrible and all they have to do is apologize. You do something and you go to prison. Now you have to find some holy for money for here. Follow the trend in Jamaica. Big people in Jamaica don't go to prison certain ways. Because eventually they get reinstated. But all they have to do is apologize. There are the guy talk about dirty labor right. And then turn around and apologize and that is it. So all you have to do is say something to all me know. If me ever said something, pan this radio, you have to know you know. You hear how much tape them want. This and that, and I'm going to charge me for libel and all these things, you know. And then a person do that same thing, you know. Him just, next time, just apologize. Because right now, my feet said something, and then apologize before it reaches the news. <laughs> and whatever, if you can't say something, you have to know by 545, you just say, um, on behalf of the Mutabaruka and the Stepping Razor, I really apologize for what I just said. And it was out of mere, um, exuberance, a big man exuberance that I did this thing. But look at now, what is going to happen to Carlin Gomes is the problem now. Because they are doing exactly what the Minister of Education a couple years ago did say must not be done by way of a book seeping into the system that is showing about this lifestyle. The Minister who is responsible for these homes that these these people go into to spread this way of life 
isn't there anybody that is responsible that is sitting with them when the minutes when when the when the, 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 the when Carolyn Gomes and her friend them go to these places isn't there a ward of the state sitting there and listening to these stories that is told what is what they must do and what they must do or is it now that the minister never know that this is what is taking place why them closing the gate when they ask gone through and then now we hear Bob's Grange is coming up now and saying that, you know, um, how could Minister Anna know, not know? <laughs> I mean, this is politics now, they're going to use now against one another, you know. How come Lisa Anna did not know? How did Bob's Grange not know? Isn't Bob's Grange a part of the, the system? Then how come she never know? Why she not put it from Lisa Anna now? How come Lisa Anna never know she's the minister? She's responsible for children and all these things. Pick it. Making sure it's simple and affordable for over 50 years. Or the structure of the system set. Because when the school book thing did come up, the ministry never know. The minister of education never know. How could a book... And we are talking about from the Rasta, the Rasta book now, where... We, we did have to go there. We go down at the ministry and find minister this, minister that, till eventually them, them, them dry. But what? How is it that a book like that reach into the system and circulated among students and the ministry? Are we to believe that the ministry is so daft and dumb and don't understand what is taking place? That a book like that seep into the ministry and none of the minister, them, including the minister of education, don't know? Years after now we get our next book that is showing the people them about gay and homosexual lifestyle. You tell me say none of the ministers, none of the ministry workers and the minister of education, which is um deacon, he never know when he find out now, when they ask gone through the gate, him find out, him say, no way, no way, no way. Alright, so we reach back. The same thing again, the same thing now. This is not no book, no, you know. This is a group of Jamaican who said them dealing with justice. Who know, say, when a child is at a certain age, nobody's going into school to tell people about, you know, when you're having oral sex, what you must do and this and that. What kind of things that now you're going into the school, and not in the school, but in the, the centers, them, for sure, young people, about this lifestyle? It's acceptable, but you must know how to deal with it. There's nothing wrong with it, but when you're dealing with it, this is how you must deal with it. You are telling me, say, nobody from these shelters don't sit with the people, them, Karen Gomes and her friend, them, and vet this thing, because you need vetting. You need some vetting. You can't vet YouTube. And you can't vet Google, but you can't vet the direct connection with the people and the edube. And you can't vet Google, but you can't vet the direct connection with the people and the educational system. Nobody was there with Carol in them sitting down and saying, no, this is unacceptable. We're going to have to report it. But the ass got through the gate, and then everybody jump up and ball out. To the minister now, she has said, hey, we need some investigation. Now, we hear that she is calling out what action must be taken against the Jamaica, um, Jamaica for Justice group. There must be an action taken against them. But she's now contemplating what is the action. She's now going to the lawyers now to say, what is the action? And it, here comes Bob the Greens now saying, really and truly, how could the minister not know? This is a football game up here, this one, you know. It's a football game up here, that's a serious thing, you know. A serious thing now, it become a football game now. Um, Bob the Greens said, children home curriculum is to show the minister disconnected from her ministry's agencies. This thing show that the minister is disconnected from her minister's agencies. Then how come Babsy Grace never know? 
It's the opposition spokesperson and youth, Oliver Babs Great, is demanding an immediate probe into an apparent breakdown in administration and operation at Children's Home, which saw wards at the state being exposed to the controversial content in a curriculum delivered by Jamaican for Justice. So Mr. Babs Green said the opposition finds disturbing news surfacing on the weekend by way of our reporting Sunday Greener that children homes operating under the auspices of the Child Development Agency, an agency operating under the Ministry of Youth and Culture, had words been taught and exposed to controversial material and lifestyle and other sensitive issues in JFJ devised curriculum. We find it even more disturbing that the Youth and Culture Minister Lisa Anna, in response to the expose, has demonstrated the extent to which she is unaware of key developments concerning agencies within her remit. In this case, the conduct of a controversial course in six homes over an eight month period. This is balling out now, you know. This is balling out now of something we're happening already. I am thinking in my mind, say, all Babs Green should I know about it too, not only Lisa Anna, because she is the opposition leader for youth. She's a spokesperson and youth in the opposition, and she never know. And now she's blaming Babs Green, and she's blaming Lisa Anna. Lisa Anna never know neither. So anything goes in Jamaica. Anything goes in Jamaica. You can do anything, but don't get caught. Everything is right. Even the wrong, but don't get caught. If you if you get caught, then it's wrong. If you don't get caught, everything is okay. It's all right. So now we hear Lisa and I's balling out now. So we have to take some action. We have to take some action against the Jamaica for justice and see what going to come out of it. What is going to come out of it? It's back and forth, back and forth. A little you just get raped last week again this week. Two man rape a man. Nobody can tell me, say, the two man them that do that rape there is not foreign deportee who did in a prison where get raped. Come now, come do this on a Jamaica. I bet you any money. I mean, I bet Brian this now. Come here, my car outside, Brian. I'm ready to give me car. Mm-hmm. But you have to have something for give me. Hey, phone, man. You have give me the phone. I have the phone for the car. All right. You see, the extent of these vicious rape, we are going, I bet you, say, if you find out is who do it, have them do a profile of what is going on, is some man with a day, a prison in America, who get raped in America, and start to become not only victims but the perpetrator of this crime and them get deported and come out there so i bet you any money say is that a go on with these you this these man rather these things it's a revenge and not only a revenge but it's also a need to fulfill a need that was easy i want to say easy easy in america I remember a couple of months ago, uh, yeah, a couple of months ago, I read an article, you know, that there are more women, sorry, there are more men being raped in America than women. That might sound strange, but according to the 2011 report from the Department of Justice, nearly one in, in two, sorry, nearly one in ten prisoners report having been raped or sexually assaulted by other inmates staff are both according to a revised report from the u.s department of justice there were 216,000 victims of rape in u.s prisons in 2008 that is roughly 600 per day or 25 every hour those numbers are victims not instances which would be much higher since many victims were reportedly assaulted multiple times throughout the year, excluding prison rapes. There are about, about 200,000 rapes per year in America, and roughly 91% of these victims are women. If these numbers are accurate, this means that America 
is the only country in the world where more men are raped than women. Even if the number of unreported rapes outside of prison were substantially larger than most experts believe, the fact that many victims in prison tend to be raped repeatedly will indicate that rape against men is at least comparable to rape against women. So the reports are saying that more men are raped in America than women. But the least they must say is that it's 50-50. This is the American society where you are locked up in a prison cell and man rape you. And because you get raped now, you become part of that and start rape man. No. We not so vicious and you so. Because a man in a prison get raped. Him get raped in a prison. Him come out here so him not take gun and rape man. So I am proposing that these these crimes that we say continuing. When I talk about the crime now we are uptown man, catch a little youth, because there's another thing again. We are talking about the viciousness of the crime. We are man of all your gunpoint and knife and rapier. There must be something else that is in in that instilling at this this criminal mind. And I am proposing that maybe it is coming from an experience that is outside of the Jamaican society. This is not no radical thinking. This is not no radical thinking. I am suggesting that these vicious homosexual rape is done by people who develop this outside of the Jamaican society. Can we never usually see that? We never usually see that. And now we see it as it's a continuous thing now. Little boys being raped and killed. And a whole heap of them is not brought to justice. We really need to think about it because we are traumatized. In Jamaica, Jamaicans are traumatized. We start to accept things that is horrible as normal ways in Jamaica. And when you see a people start to just look on something on a TV, and a man head was chopped off, and them say, right, them chop off on this man head, and that is it. And when you see them say, a woman chop up her picnic and show them down a pit tight, and all them things, and you say, right, the woman, wicked man, she must mad. And that is it. And when you hear of a 16-year-old boy murdered, and I'm not murdered, when you hear of 60 children, since last year till now, 60 children have been murdered. Murdered. Also, I'm saying murder. When you hear that and we sit and it don't make, it don't have a dent to consciousness. You know, so we are traumatized. When we hear that 90 odd children was held for gun. Children was held, and it just come like, eh, I will eat that, you know, but I mean, yeah, you know, you know, so we are traumatized, because we feel so helpless, because the system, the system has failed the people, there is no security in the streets, because all we are trying to do, our them is trying to do, is pass IMF tests. And since they have passed so much IMF death, if you go in the streets, I don't have nobody in Jamaica. And when I talk about nobody, I mix, I go amongst a whole heap of people, whether him is big, big guys, where man has a boy, a big man in a society, or whether he's a garrison youth and a garrison mother. I have not met one somebody in Jamaica that say, boy, well, things not so bad in Jamaica, you know. Things nice. Everybody balling. So things gone away. Everybody balling. The government of Jamaica 
refuse to recognize the plight of the people them in a very serious way them feel say them doing good and when i say where if a man feels him i do good him i do good enough but listen to the voice of the people out on the street listen to the big guy who are run certain business and you recognize that the whole of them start to think same way the abs want to be in the shoes of the abnats and the abnats have party every week it's a terrible thing a terrible thing click it stop the leak we just uh push out where we feel we push out you understand and as we are say me no say me no homophobic i mean no say most jamaican no homophobic and we just want even the people them are firing for hear where we are set to because every time them are call me and i go do interview interview about gear this and gear that and me i show them say but we only keep saying this thing guys the gear guys them who seek asylum in all england and them place there i come ball out about gear this and gear that but we do this and do that to them you know and really and truly sometimes the guys them is so in your face with it that you say i mean why why them are behave that way they them just do what them are doing and just do that them not feel really so in your face with it like them are dear you you know see most people when we say go on anyways like them are dear you know like you know them come in your face with it and a go on a little way in front of you and them thing they like them i say yeah because touch me not touch me not touch me not and i really want you touch them too <laughs> they really want you touch them but it's a problem and we're, part, we're, we're calling upon the gay flag people them to recognize that them is creating a situation and we know the power where them have we know that them have big money interest behind them from foreign and we know so them can't stop artists from get visa and we know so them can't stop people from the show in america and europe and them way there but if you are look for rights human rights for yourself you cannot now turn around and trample on other people human rights because when one sing a song about their heterosexual fidelity and it mentions nothing about killing people like what we heard artists used to do like capitan and sizzler and these brethren who used to ball out about dead this and kill that and everything i don't hear artists and make them tune there again but what i hear now is that don't even mention nothing about me always when you come to america with us boy catch your show and make a guy to take care of your show and make you lose a couple thousand dollars i will just inform the the, the the foreign department and make them just don't grant you no visa isn't that trampling on people right which you want to claim when you spread propaganda about jamaicans is killing off homosexuals here it's a big lie that it's a lie you tell and uno know uno know the most of the ones where you get killed it's on the same one i do it most of them where them find is the same gay people them are do it but them tell the foreign press say see that them are kill half down here nobody's killing half homosexuals in jamaica and you must stop it because you're creating animosity and when you see people now who is talking about justice trying to infiltrate the minds of young children when we see that that is taking place you know so the thing i get kind of tickly get away we want to go back to the situation where we know say well yeah that man there uh, is a guy you know but when i'm giving me joke you see man me like him still you know or the man the manager for that the place there you know him is a gay guy you know but you see him treat him work as good at them kind of way there we didn't know it because if, if a man say if you do him gear him treat him work as good if you do him gear him do him work and do it good we don't want a man come tell you now say because him fall in love with a guy upon the road 
like they do, pick up the little youth, them at the top light, carry them go up in a cherry yard and all these places, give them all kind of drink and make them feel good, swimming at them swimming pool and all these things, and then have sex with them and let them go back on the road. And the next night, them come back for them and them keep come back in for them and the little guy, the little boy who come from the garrison, don't know those kind of big life. And through them know them start to feel and taste the big life. Them don't want to let go the big life. But the guy who put them in the big life want to let them go. And they refuse to be let go. So when them don't see the guy come back for them, where they're supposed to meet, them decide to them going to go to the house. And when them go to the house, them see the guy having sex with the next guy. That is emotional slaughter which lead to the slaughtering of the guy who take them off of the street. You think a joke, you think a story may I make up? You think a story may I make up? A reality we are talking about. You remember the ambassador where you run a Waterloo there, so? Where you think did happen there, so? Where you think did happen there, so? Where you think did happen in a, in a, um, long a man to go be there, so? It's jealousy. Jealousy and the rage will come with jealousy cause these things. Yes, step in. Mota. Yes. Uh, yeah, you was talking to Shanik Mary. Yes. And what if she really understand that in time to come, she will be looked at in the farm of Rosa Parks? Yeah, well, uh, well uh, that middle tell her said she has become mm -hmm. a symbol of resistance. Yes, because we as a people... We don't have the guts. We don't have the courage mm. for you to go through that process yes. and then to stand and up win. and win and face the issue. And I want to tell you something even worse. Mm. Do you see it in this way that the CCJ has told out Miss Mary, although she win the case, but she you, did not get what she deserved? But wait there, did you hear me not say that the government has also sold her out? Of the government they of do. Jamaica. Because of them, course they do. Up to this point, them still have said, them not have nothing to do with it, and way, 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 way. Yes, the government should never say that, that Moda. Yes. The government, should, the, the government should support this lady until she gets her money. Until the death. Until the death. Yes. Mr. Mikasa should never use a statement like that, because numerous times I hear Mr. Mikasa come out in support of Trinidad. In yes. support of CARICOM. Yes. And he yes. don't show that God yes. to, to the Jamaican people. To one of the citizens of Jamaica. No, he yeah, doesn't man. show that. Yeah, man. The, 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 but you see, that I go on now with this government. You know, to say that I go on with the government. I pay disrespect to the people, them. Look here, look here, Amuta. Look here, Amuta. And I'm glad Miss Mary not come from up there. Yes. I'm glad she not come from up there. I hope it's a confirmed hope there. Yeah, I'm one of those you big Tapanaris family. I know where you're saying, man. I know where you're saying, man. Yes. See? And, and, and you come from down there, I mean, I want to see you know where you see that. Because you come from Port Mike, you come from Olympic, and we're not, we're not this, we're not this. Yeah, this but we, we understand where you're saying, you don't have to clarify where you're saying, man. We understand where you're saying, man. Yes, yes, you know? Yes. No, no, the government did not treat the issue right. And I am watching until tomorrow. You know, see, because I'm this thing all the while, you know. I don't leave her for this. She I, I not, never see she, somebody that I look like, so I don't even know the person. She did not get a direct contact to say that she get in the morning. She read it in the newspaper. No. Yes. Yes. So, but yeah. what I see, what I see in the news, the person that put it out, give the assurance. But at the same time, when you look, it more look like a double whammy. Because of what he said, it's the money. Is passed to him mm. because him alone can't pay it. It has to be passed by a next group of government people. Yeah, yeah. See, so he, 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 although he said it is going to pay it this, this week. week. Yeah, maybe it won't pass already. That's why I'm saying. Well, but if it well, pass already, he won't say what he said. Then. I can't no, because if, if they are going to put 
out this statement, yeah, yeah. you must be assured. Say, look here, that me have happened. the money, you know. Yes, so yes. me I got to just put it out there and you can collect it. Yes, yeah. No, see it. Yeah. I'm glad, me glad she come out and come talk. Yeah, man. I mean, the business owner says she, she go and like, she can't wait. Met, she no, 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 nobody can't. Time. Nobody in the Jamaica could answer that. Look here, look here. Nobody in the Jamaica could answer that. A lot of us, Muta, mm. Muta, don't say that. Because you know the Jamaican people say, how much of us? Right? How much people don't like what you're saying on the radio? How much people don't like when you go out there and demonstrate? Yeah. Muta, me, as a person, go out there and demonstrate. And the same people may demonstrate for Muta. Mm. Then pass and then them pass against them against them against them Yeah, that's how it go. That's how it then go. Then pass some assertion against me and other people. And I know where I demonstrate for. Yeah. Uh, we have to move. If somebody said that. Yeah, we have to move, Bridget. Then we have this music news that come up here. Yes, yes, Muta. All right, give thanks. Yes, Stepping Razor, the art of war. And you know, say, it's time, or soon time, make we go on lick a lick a time with this thing, I'll play it forward again, oh, yes. Mother Mary. Holy Mary, Mother Mary. Jamaica needs prayer. Pray for us. In the name of Jesus. Speak it the man. To Jehovah. Them get are we independent? You know, a long time I don't look for my message. Trust me, though. Know. About a million and one message me have here, so you know. And so I know the phone enough for me, you know. I don't know how to conduct myself properly when I come out to the phone. Trust me. People will say, I say, I will move to a deal with it. I will send a message and they will answer me. You know, so my phone can't answer message. No, if I press letter number, come up. <laughs> like if I say, if I say, hey, I say, I'll eat come up, you know, and me have to, oh, you rectify that. There's a way to rectify it, you know, but it's true, me just, no, no phone savvy. It's like me get in a problem. I me end up and delete the message them before me read them. <laughs> that trader do. I have to see like what you know. Me have to learn the thing properly. Don't go think me know about computers. Answer email and play music on it. Me don't need my computer for do nothing else. Answer email and play music. That's all me want to know about by the way, I'll talk about music, you know. We're going back to um, Forever Young. Yes, Forever Young. This Sunday, West Street, that. I will like a place at Pan Sunday when we were there. Last week, we never did it through. We did it in our, um, the sports center there. I deal with another kind of music. But this week, we are going to. Anyway, this little person I write me, them say, them say, Muta, I have listened to your first program. Upon the stepping razor, when you spoke to spoke to some JC youth about cigarette, and I noticed that months after they actually them actually make 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 um make it illegal to smoke in public spaces. Then I heard you talk to the youth them about um, about farming, and I have listened to you keep reiterating this farming thing. And now I heard the minister of agriculture said farming has risen twenty percent in one year. He said farming has risen twenty percent. I also hear you on your program, The Stepping Razor, talking about you interested in stopping the persecution of Rasta for the smoking of ganja. No, I am not a person who is superstitious, but I know that one thing cannot be coincidental. If a person says one thing and it happens, Maybe you can give it uh, as coincidence, but if he says it more different things more than one time and it keeps happening, then we would want to say that a lot of what he's saying and what has been done about what he's saying is because of what he said. <laughs> okay, okay, all right. So I have heard you say that your only interest in the ganja thing is to make sure that Rasta, who has been persecuted for years, does not go through that persecution. 
Now I hear the government says that they will allow a certain quantity of ganja for private use. So my reasoning is that you have been saying all of these things, and we have noticed that a lot of them has. Oh, them things, oh, so much things you hold, <laughs> so much things you hold, pa, 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 pa. I have noticed that you have been saying these things, and it has been coming to pass. So I am saying to you that keep saying what you are saying. Might be someone out there is actually listening to you who can make a difference in the scheme of things. And this is a one seven one eight. This is a foreign number. <laughs> this is a foreign number. This is not a local number. One seven one eight. That's all like New York. Anyway, if them say I if one if you are saying it and it is happening, I want you to continue saying it. Because apparently what you are saying, someone is listening out there. Yes, that is a long long <laughs> A long thing there. It's more, you know, more than one message them send. Forget all of that over. Because, like, them send it, them send it, and then, I delete them, so I delete them, and I never realize. Them send it, and then them know them send back a next message. Because when you press the button, it stop. No, because uh, I left one there. Oh, it not it, 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 oh, oh, taking a piece. Oh, no, okay. no it's a cheap phone, two thousand dollar cheap phone. <laughs> all right, you know, so me, you see me, you think I'm gonna insult me favor. <laughs> you see, I'll want Mark upstairs. I insult me, but me need new computer. You say me got fine again. I'm some computer fix, my computer fix, you know. You say me got fine again. Galaxy 10. <laughs> me I bring back a Galaxy 10 and come push it up in my face and your face too. With your little cheap phone, my little girl here. <laughs> you watch me, watch me when this are fired again. You think I come back with a no key. Me I come back, come show off. I show off for me like. Galaxy 10. Oh, a big. Ah, oh, you hear it? Galaxy 10 no make yet. When me I bring back one and I'm sure how great me is. I saw me I come back with a Galaxy. A Galaxy 10. <laughs> yeah, that was Galaxy 10 no make yet. By the time me buy it, I'm going to make anyway. We want to read this article here. Malaria in Jamaica is real. But uncommon entity and pose, poses a health risk to our Department of Defense. This is America thing, you know. Yes, we <laughs> are dead. At this of Ghana, you know, we didn't use them. Malaria in Jamaica is real. But uncommon entity poses a health risk to our Department of Defense personnel which should not be overlooked in returning travelers. Malaria in Jamaica was actually considered eradicated in the 1960s, but there has been a re-emergency attributed to the combination of Asian nationals as well as endemic, what is Anopheles, mosquitoes in the Kingston area. Our facility recently admitted a 33-year-old Marine who had two emergency depart. Come again. Uh, our facility recently admitted a 33-year-old Marine who had two emergency department visits before being evaluated for malaria. He had returned from Kingston 14 days before presentations which included fever, night sweats, and heads, headache, followed by a period of malaise prior to the next paroxysms. He was found to, uh, to have a 1.5% paracetamia with malaria. See them words, I know make me bite on my tongue, you know. Falliciperium that borders on severe malaria. Fortunately, he was treated effectively with atovaquenzies, proguantil, progranil, and had a favorable outcome. The Center for Disease Control acknowledges that malaria is a present, the Center for Disease Control accepts that malaria is present in Jamaica, but only recommends mosquito 
avoidance without prophylaxis. This case emphasizes the need to consider malaria in differential diagnosis in Jamaica, as well as in any returning travelers with fever because of broad global travel. This is a serious article which no one will respond to because it's more to read it and because it never come in at the Gleaner or the Observer. They might just pass it by. But what it is saying is that on a small scale, we must be prepared and don't get it tighty because you hear about malaria in Africa. They, miss, uh, they are saying that because of our proximity and now there is more communication with it now than before. And considering that malaria was here before, they are saying that we must be aware of these mosquitoes and be aware of the fever that we get in. So when you start to get fever and feel away, you, know, you must recognize that the possibility exists in Jamaica. Yes, step in. Okay. Yes. Yes. No, I you go up a little eye. You just say where I say, man. Say where I say, where I hear you. Yes. Oh, this one can get to be a Chinese marriage. Ah, yes. Yeah, because, you know, we can we can go to and thank her to, you know, now when we have a problem, we can march. Mm. We can thank her from now. Yes. And I'll wait till she dead. Uh, she yes. dead for no man. She go spend the four million. <laughs> but maybe for me, I would have said, well, I saw the entry with her. So she really do have to Of course. I, I, I think yeah. so too. I think so too. And the subject of homosexual now. Mm. You know, a long time, we take a back seat and then they are tram to it. So you know what I feel? I feel so for sure them say, we're not really against them. I feel so if we are, are like, like um, Queen Africa, they know. They must stop our food. Meet with them. Meet with them for the war. Yeah. Tell, 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 um, nearly, I hear some, I hear some, they must have our food, you know. Hear say, say no. she against them and, and she has things and about them. No. So, meet with the, the head one, they must have our food. And yeah, but remember, I said, what's your meeting with them for? To say what? To <laughs> tell them, so she, she, she not, she not sing no, no violence. But them not hear the song, them, them hear the song, them, you know. You think that them, the, the reason why them do that, you know, is because them hear the song, them. There's a kind of, Paranoia yeah, but, these but, people. but she, she has been singing that song before. All it's, the when she, it's when she there um, uh, uh, at, at stadium. Then, it's the then government it cause it. It's the government cause it against her. The government cause it because when she affirm our heterosexual lifestyle, them start to say because you are with yourself, you are against the other person. Therefore, that so, is not so, so when it when it's it's when it's get worse, you know. Yeah, but you see what is happening now, them don't realize that they are developing an animosity against themselves by doing what they are doing now. All this argument about fire and the, the, the professor from the university and yes, J, J, yes. J, 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 going at the school, them, not the, you know, the home, them, for go tell people about this lifestyle and thing, and then I talk about Jamaica homophobic. Yes, and I agree with you. Jamaica is not homophobic. I know homosexual. I talk to them everything. Everybody so, in Jamaica. For the years, know me, me know somebody, and then me hear to them that their lifestyle is that way. Yes. Me have never stopped talking to them no. because of that. No. Nobody no. does that. Unless you are homophobic. <laughs> you know, but well, Jamaican do that. Me, if you say, say, fire is take up or yeah, yeah. It just go right across the board. You know, yeah. need to choose, pick choose. I know the it, problem it, with it, 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 too, discrimination come in where you pick and choose who feel like and who feel like. Yeah, you know the problem with it too is that now it reaches stage now where even media houses free exactly. to, uh, free to deal with the, the, the subject. Them know why. So then, then soon, then soon, gonna tell you say you can't do certain things too. So. Yeah, that, that, that may I say, so, that's that's why I say me don't want to reach this so. So since I say we don't want to reach it, so we are going to show them to listen to it. We're not serious, sir. So. I don't say we, like, we love you, no, yeah, but, but them, we, we them, willing to live with you on the planet. Them spread the propaganda about Jamaicans already. Them do it. Those who well, call them, say, you know, say you have homosexuals who left you and go to England and ask for exile status. Yeah. Because them say Jamaica is not a nice place to live as a homosexual person. Which is a lie. Oh, you mean? Let me not tell you. Them, they haul around me. 
Them they all around me. Them they they all around me. Cause if them they all around me, would have thought to pick all the brother with them beside me. But we don't want to know. We don't really want to know. We don't want to know, you know, because guess what? Over the years, you're gonna tell me, say, okay, me doctor, me liar, me teacher, everybody. So, so what what me do now? Yeah, me can't do nothing. Yes, you tell me I'll show you, so yeah, nah. yeah, yeah, yeah. with the wire, yeah, man. We need to get reach them. Yes, yes. All right, mama, give thanks. All right, then, yes. Yes, a serious thing. Yes, <laughs> step in. Yes. Hello? Yes. Yeah, good, af- good afternoon, Good afternoon, sir. Uh, first time on your program. All right, sir. And the only way I can get this across by your program, I listen to some stuff from my youth. Mm-hmm. All right, here we are going. The government just say they want people life better. Then say them love the poor. How come? Me see nobody in the House of Parliament about the in, the, the, the man who invent a little machine thing with a run vehicle with water. Mm. And them say them care about the poor and them want them oil bill for go down. How the government not go look for the man there? Pass even he did there. How mm. them not go look for him and invest some money in him? Mm. That's the I'll that's the I'll build can cut. Yeah, we would have to ask Paul well that now. No, I am sure be the first one to find that man. Of course. They invest in them because they say they want people to get a job. Yeah. And only for people that get a job. Well, it's I'm if them I work with you know, you know. I'm if I work them I work with. Them not work with the people them again, it's I'm if them I work with. But then it means necessary. Me talk to the man myself, Mota. Mm. Ma- it's a little thing, like a little can thing. Mm. He's chewing the water at night. Yeah. And, him, and it works with a cartridge. It, the cartridge is 1,700 Jamaican dollars. When he explained to me, he might make me know, so when me put in that cartridge, mm-hmm. he can't carry me, go leave Westmoreland, mm-hmm. and go Kingston, yeah. and come back, and still have use tonight. What is it? For $1,700. In a normal car, I have to make a car design. Any car at all. Oh. You just connect the holes. I have to go find a man there interview him. I hope, I hope, um... Mota Baruch, you know why I call you? Give me the number, because man. Because I get the number. I want get the number. All right, here we do. Call back the operator. Yes. And get the number, make sure you get Kishima or Samantha. All right, my brother. Yeah, because I want to talk to that brother there. Then that's why I call you. Yes, all right, give because time. Because I know to the whole Jamaica go here. Of course. Call back, and brother. And that, and that Jamaica for you night boat. And yeah, I'm pressure of government panic. And that means it too. And that means it. So call back the operator. Make the gift. All right, my yeah. brother. Yeah, next Respect. week we can get get him for interview him. Yes. Step in, Razor. We want to hear about that. Them kind of people that we want to hear about, you know. Yeah, because we hear about the other set of people them are, are, are already. But we can't ignore the set of people them where we are here about every day because it's so in our face. It's hard not to realize what is taking place around you and in you. Because right now, at this given point in time, our minds have been absorbed by things that we now recognize as just normal. And I keep saying it. This is... We are normal people doing abnormal things that is now recognized as normal. And it's terrible. Click it. To support a black-owned corporation. This the is the Stepping Raids out of Jamaica. war. The link. Today, I will do in between the commercials. The National Work Agency is advising motorists that the Fern Gully Main Road in St. Anne will be temporarily closed to vehicular traffic this weekend. This road in this roadway will be closed on Saturday, June the twenty first and Sunday, June the twenty second, between the hours of nine AM and six and five PM. This closure is to facilitate lane markings along the corridor. The lane marking represents the final stage of road rehabilitation and drainage works that were conducted within the Fern Gully between 2011 and 2013. So we want you to know that this is taking place, that Saturday and Sunday, drive go up the, the, the heavy hill, so we make your car get hot when you go up there. You understand? Our drive go round Steertown, go round 
them way there. But don't drive through Fern Gully. You're not going to be allowed to go through there. You don't want to pile up of traffic because you, don't, you, you refuse to, to yield to this announcement. Saturday and Sunday, between the hours of 9 a.m. and 5 p.m., Fern Gully will be closed. Remember that, you know? Okay. All right. So, are you over there now? Are you over there? Right, that's all. Science of agriculture, the land, the seeds, and the man. Agricultural supply, the man. Ah, yes. Even Muta. Blessed. Muta may have two same topic come on and him discuss with you. Yeah, but the no take government. Too long going on. Hello? No, take too long because the adverse made them enough. <laughs> all right, yeah. Mm. The government said they are going to. He pass a law that you have to go to a, a driving school or a driving instructor mm. to get him. That's what can get your license. No, no, look up, but he can't teach you to drive again. Mm -hmm. You know, fees to say that is a, 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 a extra money spending motor when because you money. have driving book and any him, you can read it, him, know your driving code, and if you have. Family or friend who can't teach if you drive. Mm -hmm. Me not see why somebody can't teach if you drive. Why have to go spend money for go get instructor for teach if you drive? For, for pass. For pass the um, exam. Uh, yeah, for, right. And when you go when you go to the inspectorate office, remember, so they have to give you a test enough you know, mm, to still for find out yeah. even when you even when you go to the school. Yeah. You still have to go go to the inspectorate office and and the inspector pass it. Mm. So if if them say them want to cut down on the on the road fatality, mm. that's why them bring in a, a law like that. Mm. Me not me not see where that needed because people are gonna bypass the laws, bypass that same way. Okay. Because a man uh, look at it, motor. A man no we, we no say having money. He just go pay an instructor for say boy in in, in teach him. Okay. More in time pay for him and in, and in go to the go to the the, the, the inspectorate. And pay, let off a money see him here mm. and, and and get the license. Yeah. So so when people when when them put in that in place now, say so people have to go spend money for go get go, go to instructor to teach them. Mm. That not necessary. What mm. them supposed to do is clamp down on the on the the in the, the office and the the, 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 the inspector them what 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 pass the, the license to make you get the license. Mm. And them are the problem. Okay. Right, you know, see it's a motor. Yeah, yeah, them Yeah, and them are the problem because you can't, all them have to do is make sure, you know, matter where the person go, go learn to drive, mm. or how the person can drive. Once them, the person can read, the person know their road code, mm. and the person can drive, then test the person as the person can capable of, yeah. of driving. Fine. Give them a license. But they're not, they're not collect no money and give nobody no license. They yeah, make you know, sure the, the person can drive. The you know, so at them, the, the, them, the, the, them the, 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 the government fit, 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 fit clamp up and no, no, no come in, come, come suffer poor people. Well, no maybe, more. maybe soon they have to tell you, you have to go to school for learn how to push and cart. <laughs> That's why I love yeah, talking to you. You know, would have to go collect it. money for Ancard. Because right. they started to collect money for Ancard already, you know. But now, you could have to have go to a, a place, maybe in mm. St. Thomas, mm -hmm. for, for pass your Ancard. Make sure that your Ancard <laughs> will Muta, have a good day. Muta, let me tell you the other one, Miss Muta. You <laughs> always come with something to make me laugh. That's why I like talking with you. Yeah. Muta, yeah. the other one is, this be a labor day. Mm. Mota, you know when them say him, them need them want the people them to go go to free yeba, community yeah, service. Yeba, yeah. Community service. Mm. Mota, him, a year five years ago, me always hear people go against it. Yeah. You understand? I remember one time when me have a bar and me there one man sit down and say something at the bar and me, mm. me sit down and look at it. He said a, 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 a slavery mentality. Mm. For labor. You understand? I hit it cut him. I hit my man there. When him they, they did get hanged for slavery, yeah. and then then come up with their strategy to get free labor from people. Yeah. Right, I'm I'm a couple of people did in there. Well, I'm I'm strong and looking at good. 
And them not, eh, when Labor Day come, people stay in the yard and work. Mm. Nobody now go, go do no community service more than so. Yeah. The government feel looking at it and come together. And them don't, and them don't even want you to clean labor. It's dirty labor them want you to do. Dirty labor. And the one they want, the whole are not motor, the one they want, want, want run up them motor and I talk about communities, community, you, you, you clean up community. Them now go, they do not need no motor. Yeah. You yeah. now get them, they slump and they hire us and pass. And, 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 we are going to do nothing. Yeah. But the man, the man, them know what we take them machete and them brush and go go work. Yeah. Now nah, go, they going to do it because them, them are said they, they not nah get no pay. Yeah. And, and government are collect taxes and, and them forget. What me say, them not have to give them a full in, in, in DSP. DSP, yeah. Use them brain new motor. They, since they say them smart, use them brain. Yeah. Them can use that deer and get every drain and every sidewalk Clean and get the whole and get Jamaica. Them money, Clean a them up then. A little honorary room. All them have to do is give the people them all them little, them little man who are past street when I do not know them little young people. And give them one five hundred dollars. And even one little stipend, they know so they can buy one drink when they're yeah, done. Yeah, and then yeah. they back up man and they say, them But them not have that to pan live on man, yeah. put on big pot of food and everybody I eat out of the pot, man. Them, them yeah, them but that but they but them still want something at the end and motor. Okay, all right. The people them no want no source of food. Come and listen okay. me, and listen to people's are. argument. They no want no source of food. They want something at their hand. Yes. And if them do that... Pan Labour Day, they would have surprised to see how much people turn up. Right, people don't want to go to food. Minister Labour, I'll listen to you. Right. They don't want them, them to use them head. All in the, the, the storm time, I come up now. Yes. Them, they amount of, if, if them didn't use that, they're productive. They clean out the then drain. Them, they then. would have to go think about to go hire people for go do clean up drain and then so they can yeah. get it done from that day. All right, Mama, if you make your point now. To clean out the then they would have to go think about to go hire people for go do clean up drain and then so they can them would have get it done from that day. All right, Mama, if you make your point now. You make your point. And we love the point. We love the point where you make. We make the point, but we have to go and click it again. All right, then. Click it, click it, Yes, we're there with you. Hey, we're still there with you. I think so we can. We're there with you, man. Of course, we're there with you. We go country this Science senior. of agriculture. Yeah, Monta. Yes. What are going there? All right. You know what I'm saying? There are some prayers, you know, but I don't really believe in a certain prayers, you know, what I'm saying. Patient man ride donkey. I never ride a donkey before, but I'm a patient person, you know? All right, listen me now. Pertaining to these homosexual guys and... The, the views that they have put out, they say, people, violence against them and all of them things. They know me as a motor, you see? If that was so true, the people violence against them. Then when you go for half a tree, I know there's someone, enough of them play something, so they know when a year, say, certain things are happening, if it did go the way or it go. Them there in every street, lean, cousin, corner, a video in a motor, them did there, you know? You understand me? I say, but when I say motor, I believe in nothing what they call freedom of expression, you know. You understand what I say? Them have them views, and guess what? We have our views too. But if them want to for we, like them want to silence we, then motor. It's not going to go down good then, if I so be in the case. Because guess what? As far as when we see it, it's like, them just a push for them thing. Them no business about you, but all you say is just accept it. I don't say nothing else. You understand? I'm going to tell you something motor, you see? Up to 2010, when I said these things never used to happen and look away, but just after 2011, when the BBA had gone, it's like, El, El, you know what I'm saying, El Pablo's right there, so? But the one where Sister P said, he might go look back for the, right. And to me, I don't feel sad that alone. I feel that something else happened, but we don't hear about it yet. Something else happened because if you kind of realize that they want pressure the thing and they now pressure them, you know, they want pressure we out here, so. Yes, you, something else going on. I can't just talk alone. Something, 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 man. And I say to me, I believe this. All these champion funds where these people are getting to talk where they might get it from. I believe in that. This, I believe that's so why I'm silent. I believe there's something deeper than that. You understand me as a motor? But I don't feel sad of that. I could think they alone. That I could think they contribute, but something bigger than that. But them all, yeah, bigger than that. You understand me as a motor, you see? 
arrest the parents and go to so much. You name one problem and all these things, you understand? And nobody never did have to talk to them. But one little minority a group, set of people, them, come like them all up in Jamaica. Me not get the part there. Because, look from this no motor. Me and my own. When you're looking at some people, you see for them, say them are Christian people, people who are work. You know, say so you can't put in a paper, say you know, and you know, rent your house to them, the people that, you know, say so you can find this, a photo, say, you know. Yeah. You understand? And nobody look come out for them, something there, I say, ray, 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 ray. You understand what I say? You see, in a United States. Yeah, in a United States. In a the school, them. Them little people up and, uh, and teach a religious belief just so. But you come like in a Jamaica, yes, you know, this poor man sexual thing, you know, them just a push it on people, whether you want it or not. And most of you know why those people vice the Lord? It's because they are organized. You understand? They organize and they have the objective, whatever. But we the people don't here, so we still far from organized, and that's why they can't anything to do with them at the motor, and not until we organize ourselves. Can't work it out. We can't All work right, it out. All right, Mama, give thanks, yeah? Blessing. Yes, step in. Yes, step in. Yes, good afternoon, Mota. Yes. Hello? Yeah. Yes, here in the motor? Yeah, hold on there, hold on there, hold on there, hold on there, hold on there. Yes, Bertrand. I hope you're still Yeah, good afternoon, Mota, again. Yeah, good afternoon, again. Yes, um, first and foremost, I would like to give thanks to the one because um, to help to stimulate the youth's mind for one and to help to also lead the blind, if you understand what I'm speaking to. Yeah, yeah. yeah and um, also for ones to know that in order for you to learn, you have to forget everything you've been taught. Mm. And that was taught to me by a man called, a great anthropologist called Mr. Ivan Van Sertima. Yeah. Also exposed to me by you, Moussa. You understand me? Give thanks. Yes, yeah, so I we'll have to give thanks for those ones, right? Yeah. So, sometime I work, I had called your program, and I had also was talking about um, why is it that vaccines were mandatory in Jamaica, in, in Jamaica but yeah. that's not the reason why I really call. I call to answer a question that... Uh, gentleman called early on about it, I not, and it's pertaining to the um, the energy crisis, the the vehicle running water. off water. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I want to home the, the youth and mine a bit and to let them know that this is not a new technology. That's the first thing. Mm. This technology has been around from the 60s. Okay. okay. You understand? It's basically converting water to hydrogen. You understand me? To power the vehicle. Yeah. And they can be used to power other things too. But this man will not get any support in the motor. Mm. And the reason why he will not get any support, you have to understand it. In order for government to control the mass, they have to control what the mass depends on. Mm. And what the mass depends on is the oil, is energy, yeah. which is our first source of energy. The, the, the problem with the whole situation, Muta, is that at the end of the day, there are many alternative means of energy. I, for example, food for thought. The amount of energy that the sun provides the earth in a day is more than what the earth uses in a year. And we are on the equator. And we are, we are, we're not even start to yeah, tap yeah, into yeah, the, the sunlight, solar, the sunlight, solar yeah. energy. Mm. You understand me? And... Just another food for that. Yeah, man. Give back, it, in, um, back in the 1930s, there was a gentleman by the name of Henry Ford. Same Ford vehicle people yeah, see yeah, a driver yeah, on yeah. every day. Yeah. He made a vehicle, a prototype vehicle, one of the first vehicles that was made in America called the Henry Ford Model T. Mm -hmm. Ones can go and research this, you know, because we're not just stuck, you know. Yeah. Them can Google it, them can go up on YouTube, them can see it. The vehicle itself was made from hemp. You understand? Mixed with another fiber. The impact of it 
is actually this material is actually ten times stronger than steel. So this would affect the steel industry. Yeah. The vehicle itself was also run off hemp oil. Okay, which yeah, is a, about that. Yeah, which is a clean source of renewable yeah. energy. Yeah. Now this money the first thing I would have said him do wrong is him come public with the technology. Reason why I say that because he's my skin life. Yeah. Because we're the whole and we're the whole cut here, but you know, the program I got done here now. Alright, thank you. So I'll call back next week. Yeah, I'll call back next week. Yeah, man. Alright, give thanks. Yes, so we give thanks to the moment, give thanks to the energy. Give thanks to Samantha, give thanks to Keshima, give thanks to Brian. Give thanks to the advertisement, they will make a whole heap of money for the radio station. Mm -hmm. <laughs> the cheese, we believe you, we... We have to attack in between the advertisement them. So you know, we have to write me invoice, you know. Cabo, we have an invoice for you, so you know, between me and Brian, you so. I make sure you get your portion here, sir. No feel no way, me not left you out. You can buy your next white watch. <laughs> <laughs> you can buy your next white watch. I provide bars, the first I mean, I, I mean, you watch, you watch white, you know. <laughs> me mean, all the face sight white. And I wash out gold, I'm up to you, know, not even real gold, you know, I wash out gold. Really, eh? man. Real rich gold. <laughs> Baby said, I wash out gold out here. <laughs> yes. So you know what I said, oh, we give thanks. Samantha, they would be right through, PP, clack, clack. We love that. We love that. So here we are, and next week, you know, so we're gone, and we're going with this junior.